Number 33 in the VSA range delivers us another cracker of a movie. This time it is Dog Tags from 1987, directed by Romano Scavellini. Uh, this was an utter surprise to me. Um, I had seen trailers of it when it was announced. I saw little clips on YouTube. The transfer on this is phenomenal and is a huge step up to anything I've seen of this movie uh, prior to sitting down to watching it. It is phenomenally well done and this is an almost uh, Vietnam kind of tre uh, Treasure of Sierra Madre kind of movie. We have a uh, various tales going on, we get prologues, epilogues, act one, two and three title cards throughout this as you sit down and see someone tracking down a tale of a, a man and a pile of gold and then we kind of flash back to the story as it's been recounted by a, a Vietnamese person who knew um, one of the characters of this story. And we kind of follow this group of soldiers in a prisoner of war camp as they escape <laughs> and they get out, they're on their way making their, their, a break from it when one of their bosses calls up and, and you know just by happenstance look we need you to go and pick up some top secret intel it's only 10 clicks away, um, there's been a fallen helicopter we need you to click some boxes and bring it back for us You listen to me god damn it, you better tell this motherfucker to bail us out right now or we're all dead Relax, okay? And it's all about the men escaping from this prisoner of war camp, struggling to deal with the situation they're in, struggling to deal with the terrain and the traps and the death that is surrounding them as they make their way to their target. When they get to their target, they find a buttload of gold. And that's when things kind of take a turn for the worse. Because greed sets in. These people want the money. They know that they've been used to get this and decide to, you know, maybe just keep some of it or all of it for themselves and that's when the kind of infighting starts and amongst this group as we discover fractured relationships that break fully when greed is involved. Relax man, cool it, cool it, it's over. Cool it. Relax. I utterly love this film, it captured me immediately, reminding me of The Five Bloods um, treasure of the Sierra Madre, those kind of movies mixed together. You get these wonderful sequences of the uh, of destruction during this war as traps are laid out and set off. It's bloody, it's gory, they're really effective and well done. You get to see characters that you think are going to be maybe the main players ultimately decimated early on in this one. It's like a Russian roulette of who's going to be next, who's going to make it to the end. Breathe! Stay there, The tale of the characters is just fascinating. Watching them snap fully under the pressure that they have is just almost heartbreaking at certain points. And seeing people having to deal with that in the most brutal of ways is just as heartbreaking. I love the group of guys. I love the little detours that the story takes. This looked particularly fantastic, not just the transfer, but the look of the film, the production standards that's gone into this, the cast of characters who all do admirably well in their performances. The tale is fun and eventful. It takes you along in this journey. Like I said, from the opening scene, I was captivated by dog tags. Wasn't sure what I was going to get with this one. Wasn't sure if it was going to be like a cheap knockoff of kind of bigger movies but this is an accomplished production with an amazing transfer some good performances and a story that has a wealth of surprises which I really don't want to spoil for you now Do yourself a favour Pick up Dog Tags, I think it's one of the best Vinegar Syndrome archive titles that they've re uh, released. I think it's going to sell out pretty quickly once word of mouth starts to spread about this one. It is uh, remarkably fun and impactful, has a great story, some great performances, some great effects and production standards and yes, that amazing transfer, just 
Cherry on top of this one. Pick it up. I would love to know your thoughts on dog tags. If you've watched it yet, are you planning to pick it up? Let me know in the comment box below whether you kind of like these war movies uh, or if it's something that you're interested in. There is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership program and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me.